Hi everyone, welcome back. We continue on this lesson. Today we are gonna learn about compare function. This function simply compares the elements of OpenCV mat arrays and it gives you again the output in the mat type. In here, destination output it will give you and this will include the differences between input arrays. And we are gonna, uh, there are some uh, comparing types in here. They are indicated in this one. For example, the element of the first input is equal to the source one, source two, and source one is greater than source two. And this kind of some uh, logics operators is based on these comparing types flex. So we are gonna understand these things more clearly in the code part also. And the usage is very simple. We are giving just the first and the second input array, second input mat, and it will give you the destination mat type of image. Okay and uh, let's pass to the code part in here we have already a lena image but uh, maybe to understand again this example we can create our own arrays in three by three again so we can easily understand how it looks like and is equal to cv mat zeros all of the elements is gonna be zero three to three and the type we start with single channel image also for this function you can give three channel image we can also try with lena image which is a rgb channel rgb kind of image we are gonna try with that also but let's start with the single channel images okay so simply i created two uh im two mat type three by three and all of the elements is zero for now and after that we can call our compare function the first one the first input and the second one is gonna be in two and the third one is gonna be the destination output which we can create in here mat let's say out okay and we can give that and the last one is gonna be the comparison type in here uh, let's start with the first one compare equal we can call that also in here like this and it's gonna give us the output this but uh, first of all this one uh, is gonna be fully 255 because there is no difference in in one and in two they are both same so all of the elements in the output is 255 even you change some of them it's gonna be also change according let's uh, try to change any element of in one let's say and let's assign to its coordinates one to one to let's say 33 and it's gonna make the middle element is zero because anymore this coordinate in one and in two elements including this coordinate is different than each other so it gives here zero so easy to understand it just compares two element to array and if there are any difference it makes zero if they are equal it makes 255 yeah but this is with the only this uh, the first uh, flag we are trying and uh, we can also try this compare gt let's try it in this one source one is greater than source two let's see yeah in here 33 is greater than zero because in two this element is zero we already know because all of the elements is zero but the in one the input one which we specify here the one and one this coordinate is bigger than 33 is bigger than zero so it makes here 255 this is uh, comparing according to the biggest yeah this kind of the logic is very simple if you make this source one is less than source two then uh, but we cannot use in our case maybe uh, this is also in other way the opposite of the equal is compare non equal we can try that also maybe lastly and let's see totally different than at the beginning of our example in the beginning example here 255 at all here zero now it's opposite yeah 
Our function is very simple and also maybe lastly we can try with our LENA image. Let's create one more LENA image. And uh, okay, this is image one, image two, and they are both the same image, but simply also we can change the LENA one of them output in here. Okay, and since it is RGB, we need to make it vector 3B. And uh, let's say blue channel I want to change is 33 now. Also, I want to change the input of compare function. And let's make this GT again. And okay, this done. Let's see. Yeah. Now I only change the maybe it's better this one, but it's gonna be all of them white this case. Okay. Uh, the the point is little absurd. Maybe we can uh, put fifty five to fifty five. Yeah. Now uh, all of the as you can see in here, all of the elements is zero. And but one of them is gonna be different than that one. If we zoom to the 55 to 55, by the way, is there any wrong in here? No, I think 55 to 55 we need to go. Okay, let me try. Okay, almost in there. Okay, in this area, I think. Okay, 55. Why nothing in there? What we are mistaking? Image 1, I'm just changing this one. Oh, compare EQ, we will do. Yeah, sorry for mistake. Yeah, now we need to go to 55, 55. That's why it wasn't white before. Okay, anyway, where is 55? Yeah, in here. Yeah. Uh, sorry for, for the mistake, guys. And in here you see uh, all of the channel and you can check from here red and green channel are 255 because both image 1 and image 2 is equal to each other but the b channel which is representing the zero index is zero because it's already 33 in the other one i don't know <laughs> it could be luckily 33 also i didn't check by the way but it's not 33 so it is zero yeah, uh, why I showed this example because you can apply this compare function also to the RGB kind of images. Uh, sorry for the mistake again and see you in the next videos.